We raise sugar beets and malt barley uh, and dry beans and alfalfa as a rotational in between there. We usually follow our, our sugar beets uh, with barley and then, you know, uh, usually two or three year rotation in there. Uh, malt barley and sugar beets are our two biggest crops. Uh, we're primarily a sugar beet crop. Uh, that's our biggest uh, income maker. The 4R Nutrient Stewardship Report. Information about how the right source, right rate, right time, and right place interact with issues facing everyone. Rick Rodriguez and crop advisor Joe Bridges farm in an area where water could be a limiting factor. But Rick says the addition of center pivots allows more variability to his 4R nutrient planning. Sugar beets take a lot of nitrogen, um, and uh, what we have found through the, through the 4R advocate thing is that we've been able to uh, adjust our um, fertilizer rates down because we, uh, our, our ground, we leach a lot of so, uh, nitrogen out with our irrigation. So we're, we're, we've tried to find a better way to do that, makes it more efficient, and we've cut our nitrogen use by 30% in some areas. Uh, we started using the 4Rs. Basically, I actually got into it before I ever knew about the Advocate program. Uh, and, the, and the reason being, um, we, we started finding uh, the Nutrisphere nitrogen, the slow release stuff. We thought that that was actually better for us, a better source of fertilizer for us, because we were able to put it, put that down where it's slow released and does, you know, because of our irrigation. A lot of it has to do with our irrigation practices. You know, we're able to get with the Nutrisphere, the slow release fertilizers, avail on our phosphate um, is proper, is a better fertilizer for us uh, because we're able to place it. Uh, early in the spring, uh, we don't do a lot of fall fertilizer, so we do a lot of our fertilizer goes on in the spring, and, and we like to place it close in um, in a bed. That's how we do it with sugar beets anyway. Now, malt barley, we actually do it right ahead of our, our planter. Uh, then, you know, with, uh, with the proper placement, uh, because of our irrigation system, that fertilizer is there for the plant to take up at the right time when it needs it. Well, I, one of the big issues that we're seeing right now is the Clean Water Act. And um, we have a blue ribbon trout stream, the Shoshone River actually is going to be designated eventually. And what it's going to require is that we don't release any uh, nutrients or uh, sediment back into the river. So you got to clean the water up. That's why center pivots has been a really a big, big deal for us. We use a lot of soil PAM to settle the dirt down so we have li very little runoff. Uh, you know, we, we work very hard on, on not trying to flush the, the soils away. You know, we've, our area's only been there for 50 years, but you can see in some of the fields that have been irrigated over that much time, they've, they've taken some of the top ends of the fields, it's now down to bottom ends. And so we have, you know, we put in uh, uh, drainage ponds, settlement ponds, uh, and everywhere we can, just to make sure we can catch that, and take a pick, pick it up at the end of the year and haul it back up to the top. You know, in, in today's world, the end consumer is more concerned about how things are raised and what, how they're dealt with before they ever get to the plate than they've ever been before. They have time on their hands, they have resources on their hands and ability to find those things out. Unfortunately, those out there that are spreading more information aren't necessarily spreading the correct information. And so the 4R program is a great aspect for us to get on board behind and to show those that we are being conscientious of what we're doing that we're not just out there polluting the ground, polluting the water streams, and making unsafe food for these people, but this is actually something that is sustainable, it is something that provides them with what they have, that it's healthy, and it's safe. And that's the biggest thing, and the 4R program is just, just like what it does on a farm, it does in the world. It might be small little things, but it makes a huge impact at the end. For more information about the 4R program, visit NutrientStewardship.com.